Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It is Monday for you. So if you're Canadian, happy Thanksgiving. Um, we are up. Adam for the day. I already had breakfast. The kids had breakfast. I had breakfast. Matt made an omelet, sausage, and potatoes. And I think I shared a clip of that. But I've had my morning coffee. I'm going to have another one. It's freezing here. I think it's only like feeling like 60 degrees in the house. I really feel like turning the heat on right now. But we have a busy day of swimming and dance and then some family time, my father-in-law's. So I'm going to make the bed because it needs to be made, throw in some laundry, and I've already edited tomorrow's video for you. It is a really good one. I like. I think you'll get a kick out of it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go make the beds, do some laundry, and uh, get this day started. And there's a little before shot of the bed. It's not made this morning. It's already 11:22, so I need to make this. And there's the bed. It's all made. Now, I had a question that I wanted to ask you, actually, well, now that I think of it. Okay, so I had a question that I wanted to ask you all. I know in past uh, past Vlogtober vlog, I shared with you the bed sheets and bedding that I got for our winter bed, like the duvet cover and the bed sheets. Now, I still love the bed sheets, but I'm thinking the duvet cover, I don't know if the navy blue is going to work with the quilt that we currently have. So this is the quilt that we have and the colors are like really fallish colors. So we have these like pinkish, purplish, I guess burgundy. Then these flowers kind of have like the green and a little bit of blue. So the navy blue might work, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should go with more of this green color duvet cover, maybe a hunter green and then it will still match with the bed sheets, but it might go better with the quilt because the plan is to fold this. I still want this on the bed. Fold it and put it at the end of the bed. So like it would be kind of laying across here. And then the majority of this would be the duvet cover. So either the navy or the hunter green. And then I fold over my bed sheets and I lay my pillows just like this. And, um, You'll see the the plaid. <laughs> you would see you would see the plaid bed sheet right there. So let me know what you think um, down in the comments if I should do that. And reference in case you haven't seen my pillow. This is the pillow that I put on my bed. These are extra. <laughs> and is the hunter green throw. And this is the plaid on the back of the pillow. So let me know what you think. Oh, sorry for the lighting. It's so bad. I have to go this way. So let me know what you think. If I should go on the hunt for a hunter green, or if I should scrap the idea completely and move on to something else, or just keep the navy blue duvet cover. I mean, it's not a waste because Connor has a double bed and the navy blue will look great in his room. So we can always use the duvet cover in his room. And now I'm going to move on to the laundry and take this down and put it in the wash. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. Say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on the Drinking wine until the dawn Knowing soon we'll be back home
so um, it's so much later than the last time I uh, turned on the camera, but it is now just about two o'clock and we're going to head out to go to Connor swimming, but I made some pretzel dough before we leave. Um, so we can make them later. It takes an hour for it to rise and um, then you knead it again and divide it and then boil and bake. So it's quite a process, but we wanted to have some of this evening. So I thought I would do that now. So the dough is uh, covered with cling wrap and it is resting. And so hopefully it will rise. Turned out really good this time. So I'm really happy with that recipe. I'll leave it linked down below. It's the Auntie Annie's Copycat pretzel bite recipe. So in any case, I'm going to straighten up this kitchen before we head out to swimming and then Madeline has dance. I'm hoping to do a little bit of thrifting while she's at dance. So fingers crossed I get to do that. And I'm just going to straighten up this kitchen and then we're going to hit the road. So here is what the mess of making pretzels leaves in the kitchen. Not too bad. Shouldn't take too long to clean up. And like I said, it is just about two o'clock. It's 1.58. So I'm going to clean up all this mess and in a little snap of my fingers, it will all be cleaned. One, two. It's that's cringy. Oh, it didn't work. I guess I'll have to do it the old fashioned way and actually clean it up myself because snapping my fingers obviously didn't work. So here's a little clean motivation for you. If you haven't cleaned a space in your home, get up and clean alongside with me. the mess that I made making the pretzel bites. There's just a pile. There's just a pile of dishes to the left of the sink. Sink's all clean, nothing in it. Counters are wiped down. The uh, kitchen aid's pushed back. I'll dry the dishes later when we get home. We'll let them air dry for a bit. Counters are all wiped down and the stovetop is clean. So now we're going to hit the road. We're going to head out and go to see Connor swim. We have to register both the kids for the next session of swimming as well. And I'm hoping we make it. It's only a 45 minute session. So hopefully we get there in time. It's 10 after two. It didn't take too long to clean up the mess from baking. And I yes, I could have left it and went straight to swimming. But I just know with the busy afternoon that we have with dance, I'm going to go thrifting hopefully and try to look for Madeline's Halloween costume as well as a few other things that are on my thrifting wish list. Hit the thrift stores that I typically don't get to. Um, and then we're going over to my father-in-law's because my sister-in-law and her kids are going to be down this evening. And I just know that we're going to be go, 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 on the go, <laughs> busy. And it's just, if I left the mess, only took like 10 minutes, it would have just piled up and got messier. That's what how it happens, isn't it? Like you leave one little mess and it just kind of grows. But So in any case, we're off to swimming. 
Okay, so we're finished swimming. We just ran through Starbucks, Mendel, and got a strawberry frappuccino and um, strawberry cream frappuccino and cake pop. And I have the caramel whip and crunch frappuccino. So show them my cake pop. Okay, and we're just gonna drop her off at dance, and then I'm going to go and look for a new pair of shoes and um, Halloween costume. So I'm gonna try to do a little thrifting and maybe see if I can run out to winners. Um, it is raining out, it, there's just a little sun shower, but I went to th two thrift stores and only found one thing. I found this real American Girl dress for Madeline. Um, I can't show you in the camera. I'll have to show you when I get home, but um, <clears throat> it was only $4 and I'll take my mask off for a second, but um, the dress was only $4, but I didn't find any shoes for myself. And the one thing I'm still super concerned about with thrift stores is we can't try things on. And to return the items, we don't get our cash back or money, whatever method you pay with, you only get a store credit. And I don't like that because there are, I just don't wanna feel like I have to spend that money at that store. I know that might sound silly, but the fact if I'm spending $10 on a pair of pants and I get them home and they don't fit, well then, I'm stuck with trying to find something for $10. You can't get a store credit. You have to find something when you're doing the exchange and you only have a week to exchange. Like, it's just, it's it's not worth it for me. So unless it's something I am, I know it's going to fit me, I'm not going to buy it. And unless it's something I can kind of try on in the store without a changing room, like a vest or maybe even a sweater I can put over a shirt. I'm not going to buy clothing there and the shoes it was just a bust so I'm gonna check winners for a pair of shoes I just want a pair of flats I might have to order some on Amazon um, I have a wide foot so it's very hard for me to find shoes that fit me comfortably and I can walk in all day especially while teaching I'm thinking there's a pair of Sam, Sam Edelman um, ballet flats on Amazon and I might get those uh, they come in a wide width so I know they'll fit and um, yeah so I'm gonna run into winners and check there I'm also gonna check the cell store to see if the new iPhone's in stock yet because my, I desperately need a phone upgrade and Connor's gonna get my iPhone 8 so um, yeah we're just we're just going with it so I'm gonna run into winners I talk a lot sorry <laughs> so here's the dress that I got Madeline from the Salvation Army thrift store. It was, it was only $4. And it's American Girl brand, size 10. So it's in perfect condition. And there's like snowflakes. It's perfect for her Christmas concert this year. Absolutely love it. Hey, we're just heading over to my father-in-law's. Um, I, trying to think, oh, at, um, winners i just got a, a tray for the living room and a little sign for christmas all the christmas stuff's coming out and it's really hard to restrain myself really trying to be minimal here but anyway i want to thank you for watching i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are staying safe and take care as always we'll see you tomorrow in another vlog bye now